hold up for a second. Pause for a moment. We have to talk about this post in the Saltier Than Crate subreddit. Okay, we have to talk about it right now. It is paramount, it is of utmost importance that we talk about this right this moment. All right, so this was sent to me from a friend. The post is from like a day ago, but the screenshot of the thumbnail is from at least nine days ago, most likely a little bit further back than that because of the title of the video that it was pulled from. Uh, but we have to talk about this because this thumbnail, even though it says X-Men on it, it's like about me. The thumbnail is about me. And I love seeing myself in things. It makes me very excited on the inside to see myself in things. Uh, and it's from our old pal, Hypnotic. Now, if you're not familiar with Hypnotic, we've talked about them before. Uh, at least two videos, maybe three. I think there was one from a while ago that I just, I, I don't know if it's, again, it might not even be on my channel anymore. A lot of my older videos I shuffled away. They were garbage. Um, but the last time we talked about Hypnotic, I was uh, reacting sort of to one of their videos and I made the decision that I was never going to watch the videos again because they're really boring and I just cannot be bothered to sit through boring ass content like hypnotics. We're going to talk about why I'm going to once again, explain to you why hypnotics channel is a dumpster fire. I'm going to explain it to you once again, just in case you forgot why. And because hypnotic wants some attention uh, because they could have just let it go, but they didn't, they wanted to come at me again because they wanted me to dog walk them again. They wanted me to read their eyeballs out of their head again. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that just for hypnotic. So let's take a look. We're going to blow this picture up here because the title uh, is about thumbnail design or whatever. We already know these, these thumbnails are awful for the most part. However, this one is funny. This is actually really funny. There's a lot of really interesting stuff going on in this AI collage mess that we're seeing here. So, of course, off to the side, uh, because now I am doing outrageous thumbnails myself. So I am paying close attention to how they do this. So off to the left side of the thumbnail, uh, we have X-Men, Bates, and, and White, and Switches, Fans, and Red. And that's because the two colors um, incentivizes people to click on the video. So that title is just a random title. Bait and Switch um, would imply that they trick people, but these channels have been saying that the show was going to be woke and stuff like a few months ago. So that's literally not a bait and switch. That's the, that is the exact opposite of that. It would be predictable if that were the case, it would not be a bait and switch. So again, hypnotic, just uh, get your clickbait together. Okay. Uh, X-Men 97 gets woke, gets woke. Okay. So it, it wasn't woke before. All the other 5,000 videos that you folks made about it wasn't woke then. It's, it's just it's just now woke after this episode. Animated series. I mean, what other series would it be? X-Men 97 is, is animated. Okay. Animated series baits fans with first two, and I'm assuming it says episodes. I cannot be bothered to click on any of Hypnotic's videos, and I'll explain why in a moment. So we're just going to assume that's what it means. Let's get into the masterpiece artwork on this thumbnail. So... Let's let's talk about Wolverine first, or whatever this character is supposed to be. Let's talk about that first. So we have this body-painted AI Wolverine. I've seen so many of these recently, like all of these AI Wolverines. So you have this body-painted AI Wolverine looking like a bona fide snack, a snack cake. Delicious, yummy, and thick. I think we can all agree that Wolverine is a snack cake here. Uh, with 2,500 abs. And muscles that don't make any sense, but hey, it's what it is. Uh, repping the body hair, very bearish, I might add. I do think it's funny that the mask is basically hair at the top. But AI just doesn't give a fuck. It's just wilding out, doing whatever it's going to do. But um, but I appreciate it, you know, for AI. I think it's, I think you selected a good one because he's looking mighty delicious in this picture. Okay, so let's get into, we're going to read the stuff in a second. Don't worry, we're going to read it. But this is supposed to be a race-swapped me. I guess in an attempt to trigger me. However, I don't care about race swaps. I think race swaps are fine. Uh, for the most part, if they're done to add 
new story to the character to make them slightly different from the comic book so they're more interesting to different viewers i think that's fine i don't have an issue with it so race swapping it to try and trigger somebody who's okay with race swaps i actually think it would have been funnier to have me in the, in the thumbnail that would have been funnier because then you could have put those little like the the drips on my face instead of whoever this person is i i don't know who they are hopefully they're not offended by this because it's kind of I mean, you make it look like they just sucked on something. And I don't know if that's cool. You know, I don't know if they like that or not. Anyway, the hat is amazing. The queer hat with all the colors. Is that a real hat? I'm going to have to order that one just for you, Hypnotic. I'm going to order it and wear it. Uh, race swapped Eric. Okay, cool. By the way, that person doesn't really look like me, but we'll go with it. You should put glasses on them. I love glasses. Um, I've worn glasses my entire life. Uh, then you have what looks to be this, I guess, supposed to be a cucumber. It says identity politics. And uh, suppose, I guess that I was um, doing something oral with the cucumber, and now it's all over the hands too. Okay. It's quite the imagination you have. I never thought about this. This all this whole scenario is, is unique to me. And I'm really glad that, Hypnotic, you were able to take that fantasy in your head and make it happen on your thumbnail. I, I appreciate that through AI and collage work that you were able to, with composition, put all this together. Um, anyway, so that's what that's supposed to be. Uh, I'm guessing, you know, like Cinnabon frosting, maybe. Let's read what it says here. This is the best part. Come on, guys. You knew I couldn't help myself, LMAO. I love me some D, so come blow me, Eric. Oh, so if I were a straight guy, that, that would have been offensive because you would have been basically comparing my or challenging my masculinity as a straight person by insinuating that I was having sex with another guy. So that would be the joke, but it's not really funny because I'm an actual gay person. And so the activities that you are suggesting in this thumbnail would be things associated with a gay person. So the only joke would be if you're homophobic and then you would find that funny uh, because if you weren't, you would just go, well, that's what gay people do. Right? So how is that the punchline? Good work, Hypnotic. Good work. You really thought this one through. You really thought this one through. Uh, by the way, this is about the episode where Morph makes a joke to Wolverine. Uh, it's like a 10 second, it may not even be 10 seconds. It might be like five seconds, a five second joke. Because apparently when Daily Wire makes an entire movie making fun of trans and gay people, that's supposed to be just a joke. But in this context, when Morph makes a joke as a non-binary character um, towards Wolverine, then that is serious and it's a bait and switch and we should burn it with fire. Got it. Got it. Makes total sense. The really baffling thing about this is up until this point, as far as I know, Hypnotic says that they weren't watching the cartoon. And that is why I actually stopped reacting to Hypnotic's videos. because. How are you going to make content that is literally talking about a TV show that you're not even watching, basing your content on the opinion of other people who may or may not be watching the show? That is, it's like a game of telephone for reviewing. It's dumb as fuck. What I come to expect from your channel. The, you know, watching a handful of your more recent videos, I determined this is what a hypnotic video is, right? A hypnotic video is he gets on his, well, he doesn't even get on camera. He's one of these people that's afraid to show his face. Um, afraid to show who they are so that when they get done milking money from YouTube, they can take all this stuff off and just live a normal life and not have to worry about, you know, people looking back at them 10 years from, from now and going, they were stupid as fuck. So these are all cowards. They're basically cowards. So this coward in a mask and a hood and uses a cartoon or whatever gets on video and starts talking about some topic, whatever it might be, whatever they think they can make the most money off of. And then they read articles from other people. And then in between each paragraph, they go, yeah, I agree with that. Or that's totally based, or this is true. And this is why it happens or whatever. They're literally just reading an article from either bounding into comics, fandom pulse, Park Place, something by John Trent, something by JDA. One of those things. That's what the majority of Hypnotic's content is. He is, uh, he or they, I, I saw your profile. I'm not sure if you're being serious or if you're being, I, I'm assuming you're 
It's to make fun of trans people. So he or they, whatever. I don't know. Um, they do this kind of stuff, and they're basically an audible for people who are too lazy to actually read these awful editorial opinion pieces that are not real journalism. So it's the worst kind of content you can possibly have on YouTube. It's so boring. There's no charisma. There's no personality. There's nothing there. Your channel offers absolutely nothing to the world or to any of the conversations. You are the, the leech on the leeches. You're below the bottom feeders in terms of what you're bringing to the table. Hypnotics videos are just bad. The content that they make is bad. Um, so yeah, thank you for making a thumbnail about me and talking about, I guess, did, did you mention me in your video? I don't even know. I'm all over the thumbnail, so I'm assuming you did. But I'm not going to watch it because I don't really care that much. This was just fun because I saw that Saltier Than Crate posted this. And um, I thought, hey, it's a perfect opportunity for me to jump back into the seat and talk about one of the most boring haters on YouTube, one of the most boring grift tubers ever <laughs> YouTube hypnotic. All right. If you're watching this long and you've stuck around because if you left, I don't blame you because hypnotic's a boring person to talk about. But if you're still here and you want to prevent YouTube from continuing to funnel this kind of content to the top of the search engine, then all you have to do today, it's really easy. Subscribe to my channel, join the revolution. Hit like, leave a comment down below, then check out my description box and go to other channels like myself who are fighting back against the YouTube algorithm to dismantle it from the inside and fuck that shit up. We can already see the effects of it now. Channels are already complaining. They believe they're being shadow banned or throttled by YouTube. No, bitch. That's not what's happening. It's the algorithm correcting itself. We're getting a balance in the force. All you have to do is subscribe to become part of that. That's it. I'm out of here.